Um, that's, I guess, why we are all here today, to talk about what what is the next step, right? So we know that the premier support is ending in June of 2014. What that really means for the end users is that the product will not be certified with any third-party product versions as well as any Oracle product. So if there's a new operating system version or a new data, database version comes up, um, Discover will not be certified against it. So you, if you choose to stay where you are, you're going to also choose to stay on your OS version, on your database version, and on your entire, you know, what are some of the different softwares that you're using with Discoverer because it will not be certified with anything new at that point. And like I said earlier, there is no next release planned for Oracle Discoverer. So what is my next direction? What is it that uh, we need to do to, you know, move? So a lot of customers have been talking to us about simplifying their BI deployment. They have these thousands of reports that kind of get lost. They need to have an easier way to have a BI deployment where things are easier to search, easier to look at. They're also looking at mapping heterogeneous data sources. Uh, so they want to collect data, not only from Oracle databases, but also from DB2, from, from databases that are outside of Oracle sphere. Also, a lot of people are looking into BI. So how do I do BI in a mobile technology where people are able to see these reports and charts on a mobile, uh, you know, they can see it on their iPads if they wanted to. So different things, um, you know, that these are, again, some of the reasons why people are uh, moving on to more modern technologies for BI, um, trying to get into a different set of tool set, a more modern set of tool set, which is going to help them make their business better every day. Now, that being said, Oracle's direction is we will continue. We have invested a lot of uh, energy in the last few years in modernizing our BI offerings to the customers. But at the same time, we are committed to protect customers who are using more traditional technologies. So if you are using Discoverer and if you choose to stay on Oracle Discoverer, there is a support for it, and it's, it's not premier support. It's going to be extended support, and it's going to be sustaining support quickly. But uh, that basically just means that if you see any bugs, and we already know a solution for that, we will be able to help you with that. If there's something new that we have not seen before, chances of that you know, turning into a patch will be probably very low. Um, but then if there are things that we can help you with, if there is you know, any sort of people who can help you with those things, we will uh, continue to protect uh, those customers and we'll continue to help you out. But then at the same time, I think we should encourage people to look into more modern sets and just familiarize yourself, look at what these tools are, and find out how they apply within your organization. If you see if that's a fit, if this uh, you know, satisfies the needs that you have for your organization for an overall BI perspective, that's what you should be looking at. So I know it can be very scary to move a big set of you know, data and reports that you have to a completely new platform, and you're like, I don't know how much work is involved. I don't know what I should do. Um, should I even move? Should I even you know, make a change? Maybe I can just stay where I am. I just encourage you to at least look at the options and then look at um, some of the recommendations that uh, Kumar will be talking about a little later. Just look at what are the different options I have and what's the path, what can, you know, how easy or how difficult it is to, to, to migrate really, and then what is the value in it for me. So that's what we'll be talking about today, the different um, ways to migrate. So there are a set of utilities that are available from Oracle and from third-party vendors that can help you get there if you choose to move. And then I think uh, everybody should at least familiarize yourself with what the new set of tools are, what are the functionalities that they offer that uh, Oracle Discoverer does not have. And I know it's been a very solid tool for the last so many years. People who use Discoverer, they just love it. Um, and I know people have a lot of investment in there. But still, I would say at least get yourself familiarized and look at what, if you were to migrate, what would be a plan um, to migrate? How would you do that? So uh, with this, I'm just going to hand it over to Kumar. He will be talking to you guys about different options and uh, help you develop a plan for migration.